Here we go again with this rain. All right, y'all, so I'm here. The kids are off school this week. So I am officially trying to go ahead and get groceries for the week. But I'm trying to do it for under $100. So we're gonna see how this goes. All right, so again, I'm trying to do this for like 50, no more than $60. They get some stuff for the kids for this week. I got vegetables and fruit, so I don't need any of that. But I do need some snacks, some lunchtime foods. I got dinner time foods, but I definitely need some lunch and daytime foods for them and a couple breakfast items so of course i'm gonna start with the good old bagels i'm gonna be getting some that i gotta have so white bread 49 cent Oh, because it expired December 30th. But still, that's really good. Um, oh, you know what? You're right. You are right. He is right. I can freeze it. So, we're going to do four. Yeah, I gotta remember. You know what? I, I want to do one of these for me. But I think for the kids, it will make sense to get these ones instead. That's two nineteen. dollars for them to have with their sandwiches. Okay, how much am I at? $2. 2468 8 10 15 16 well, 17 Remember, guys. Twenty dollars. I mean, fifty. No more than sixty. And I want some snacks for them. Cause it's basically what I'm doing is just lunch and daytime foods. I don't know. I might end up putting those back. We'll see. We'll see what else I need to get. And if I end up going a little over, then I can put some stuff back. I'm definitely getting some lunch meat. That is highly needed. Wait, okay, all right. So that's a chicken and roast. That's five nineteen. The ham is still four seventy five. So I'm gonna grab two of these. I should probably get three, but again, try to do this on a budget. I got one thing of biscuits, so I'll grab one more. Oh, maybe I think I need to grab two more. Because anything I would make, I would need three of them for everybody. Um, you know what? I never got my kids bologna before, but it's only one forty-eight. I ate it as a kid, and they might actually like it. So, and honestly, I can do a good bologna egg sandwich. I have to heat it up, but. I can do bologna. Maybe I should get two of them. That's 148. That's a really good price. And like I said, fried bologna and cheese sandwich. You can't go wrong with that, right? Do I have cheese? Oh man, I think I got cheese at home. I definitely need some eggs. Um, oh, I got chicken breast at home. And chicken thighs. So I can take some of those out and make like a chicken taco kind of situation. Um, I got milk already. I definitely need eggs. 236, does that seem high for eggs? Or are eggs going back up and I don't realize? I don't remember how much they were last time I came and got some.
the fries for them. And then I'm also, I don't have any ground beef at home. So remember I told you guys in my last video that I was gonna be trying this ground beef. And it was actually really good. I only used one of them. So I still have one more. So I'm gonna grab another one. But it's, it's, it's just like any other beef. Like not too much fat or anything. Highly recommend it. I don't know if I should get the nuggets instead of the fries. I never had their nuggets. I'm pretty sure they'll be good. And then I wonder if they still have those rolls for like one for the guy. I got potatoes to make fries. Again, guys, I'm trying to stay on budget. So I'm not gonna get so much of what I want, it's just what I need. I can cut up. I got two big bags of potatoes too that I haven't used yet. So I'll just cut those up, put them in some ice water, and make some fries at home. And I can do that with the nuggets or um, something else. I'm not gonna get any ice cream today. Yeah, no, I love their cookies and cream ice cream. But I don't really wanna get that. Because everybody in the house got like a cold. And you know that milk and ice cream makes the mucus thicker. So I don't wanna do that. They got over here. Oh, they got meatballs. That could be good for something. Like meatball bombers. Their steak on me is $4.99. But like I said, I got dinner foods, but I guess I could make steak stuff for like lunch. Instead. I think I might have already been pretty close to my budget of $60. What y'all think? Like I said, I got like lettuce, tomatoes, stuff like that. That I can make like a salad or, you know, use the toppings for like the sandwiches. Um, so I don't need any more vegetables or anything. But let's see if this. Oh, you know what? I did need some. I don't really need cereal, but I did want to get some cereal. But to be honest with you guys, unless I get the off-brand cereal, the uh, prices at Price Right is a little better for cereal because you get the big bags for $5.99. And you see this, you pay $4.41 for the large box. But like I said, at Price Right or ShopRite, if you, depending on what area you're in, you get the big bags you see me buy in my grocery hauls, and there's usually $5.99, or if you catch them on sale, they'll be $4.99. So I'm gonna skip out on the cereal here. Oh, these are the potatoes that I got at home, the big bags. So I'll use those to make fries or whatever the case is when it comes to quick meal ideas. But this break, like I said, this break is like crazy. The kids eat so much already. So when they're home all day, it's like, oh, breakfast time, oh, lunch time, oh, dinner time. Oh, time to eat again. Like, what? I'm gonna grab one of these barbecue sauce for the nuggets. It's 145. And then I think I got ketchup already. So I don't need that. I am out of grape jelly. I feel like I should grab that because they can have peanut butter and jelly. I'll probably grab some more bread because I'm thinking they're going to be eating a lot more bread than usual. Like, I will grab like three or four for a regular week. So, between eggs and bologna sandwiches and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and ham sandwiches, we're going to eat a lot of bread. So, I'm going to grab two more loaves. And then 49 cents, like, what? Once the guy said it, I'm like, you know what? You're right. I literally can freeze it. And then whatever they don't use immediately, we'll just pull it out as they need it. But there's so many options. We can make French toast with the eggs. There's just so many options. So 
definitely gonna 49 cent. Like that was definitely for me. <laughs> they was like, knew I was coming. They were like, let's help her out with her nine kids. So got mac and cheese. Got pasta. Um, I think I need more spaghetti sauce. But you know what? Honestly, they have it here for one fifty nine, which is a good price. But because I'm trying to do this challenge, um, so yeah, it's gonna be it for this one, guys. I'm gonna go up to the register now, and I'll let you guys know if I was able to do it for 50, 60 tops, or if I have to put something back. Like I said, I don't wanna go over 60, so hopefully this is like 50. All right, so I just called my son, and he verified we have cheese, but we don't have any tortillas, which I'm making quesadilla on these days for lunch. So they have tortillas for one ninety five. dollars the tech count. So I'm gonna grab two or three of those because, as you guys know, we have a whole lot of people in that house. Wait, what did I just see that? I'm gonna show you guys. Oh yeah, you see they got these sheets. They got queen, king, and then full size. And then the full size are only $14.95. And they, like I said, I love this material because they be so soft. If it's the same material. Um, but this is a good price, $14.99 for full sheets. And then a twin, and then the queens are $19.99. And the king is $24.99. And then the kings, they also have them in gray. I know, right? <laughs> so king, she found out the same thing. Everybody was finding out. She's like, their prices are so good. Why don't I come here more often? And I'm like, exactly. But this is a king back here and the gray. So I just bought new sheets from Burlington but that's a really great price for new sheets. If you guys are looking. And then they also have these rugs for $10. These bathroom rugs. And they're really, they're not like the regular ones, they're bigger. And they're like really, really thick. So, if you guys are looking for bathroom rugs, baby. Oh, this is the place to be. So let me get to this register. I thought they had to run back and get the mayonnaise because honestly, they have at the dollar store for $125, but this is a big one. The dollar store only has a little one, which we'll use in like a day, honestly. So I'm like, let me just get this one for $3. We'll see. Hopefully I didn't go over. But if I did, I may just put something back. Probably the ground beef. Because I don't really need that. It's more of a want. Um I was gonna make like some type of maybe like spaghetti or like I guess I got another small one at home. So I was gonna mix the two together and do like either spaghetti or maybe meatballs for the spaghetti. Something like that. So that is gonna be the one thing that I may put back if I am over. Alright y'all, so my total came to 61.45. So I went over by a dollar forty-five, but I didn't want to put anything back. So, I mean, I kind of did the challenge, but kind of didn't. Like I said, I didn't want to go over sixty, but I think one forty-five was worth it for everything that I got to go over a dollar. You know. So, as always, thank you so much for watching this video. Like, share, follow. Um, a lot of you guys have told me that these videos have been helping you with grocery shopping staying on budget and just being aware of what all these have on sale so on so forth so do me that favor subscribe like and share maybe help someone else and i'll see you guys in my next video bye